Hello, my name is Jennifer Johnson, and today we're going to talk about the cultural differences in child rearing. As an individual who hails from Bahamian descent and American descent, I can fully agree that this is an important matter that needs to be discussed more often. Is there a perfect method to parenting? To answer it simply, no. As you can see from the picture above, these are all different families with different cultural identities and backgrounds, yet all of them seem to be having issues when it comes to disciplining their offspring. How, what, and the way in which a child is disciplined is all controlled by something we'll talk about in the next slide called social norms. Social norms are the unwritten rules, beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors that are considered acceptable in a particular social group or culture. Factors such as discipline, values, diet, and representation are all dictated by these norms. Here we have a Korean family and we can see the children are bound to their parents. In Korea and many other East Asian cultures, Respect and high regard for those older than you is mandatory. One major factor in how a child is reared is if they hail from an individualistic or collectivist culture. A collectivist culture is a society that focuses on promoting selflessness, working as a group, doing what's best for society, and families and communities have a central role. The collective culture, as you can see, is not so much about self, but how well the community and those around us are helped and pushed forward. An individualistic culture is the opposite of a collectivist. Instead of focusing on the community and wholeness, the focus is on uniqueness, autonomy, independence, and self-sufficiency. Here are some examples of both individualistic and collectivist cultures. Most of the world lives in a collectivist culture, while few countries such as the United States, Germany, Ireland, and South Africa are individualistically driven.